So according to the manner, how they are getting the food from the environment. So we can classify all the things into producers, consumers, and decomposers. So in our today's class, we'll see, first of all, what is producers? So let us start with the producers. So we all know that this is not a new thing, but just we have to study the way of writing and what is the points you have to write it because from the class every every stage from one class to another class the way of writing things will keep on changes that is so now let us come to the first one that is what we used to say producers so now if we'll take the producers so whom we used to call as producers please let me know whom we used to call yeah. as producers, guys so what are the organisms which produce food are called producers. Yes or no? So if we we'll take the producers of the organisms which can prepare their own food from a simple inorganic components. What is the inorganic components? Simple inorganic components, Kevin, Harini. That is only which you called as what? Krutika? Please respond. Sunlight and, sunlight and as well as no, sun, under the presence of sunlight, inorganic components, I'm asking. We have two inorganic components. Carbon dioxide, water. Carbon dioxide and water by using the sunlight energy and under the presence of something, green plants having a, some pigment called as, what is the pigment? That is only we used to call as chlorophyll. chlorophyll. So that is what we used to call as producers. So producers means we can say an organisms which produce, understanding, which produce food for food are called, what we used to call raw, which produce food are called producers. So they will, in these producers, what they will do? So these producers, they will use uh, inorganic components like CO2 plus water under the presence of home guys under the presence of sunlight and here it is it must be having what energy a sunlight energy in the presence of what sunlight energy in the presence of humra who will observe the sunlight energy that is what we used to call as chlorophyll understanding so these are called as inorganic components so please all of you remember inorganic substances that is what we used to call as CO2 plus H2O and they will produce what? They will produce the food which is called as organic substances. So this is only ways to call as producers which will produce food are called as producers. So now if we we'll take here the examples of producers we can give so many things. What is that guys? First one what it is? If we we'll take the green plants all are examples of producers and you can take certain blue green algae also understand blue green algae you might be noticing it algae is also who is to called as what it is it's a producer only so if we'll take here mainly the green plants they will synthesize their food during a reaction called as what is the chemical process name as anybody what is the food processing chemical suthir dilipan what is the process called as? Plants will produce us. Produce, they will produce the food by the help of some phenomena, chemical phenomena. What is that? Are what? Right? We will know, correct? Please respond. Producers, we can say plants, green plants. They will produce the food by which process, guys? Photosynthesis. That is only I'm asking. They will synthesize their food. Understanding. So with the help of a phenomena called as? photosynthesis understand so photosynthesis by taking a raw materials from the earth and energy from the sun so that is neat you need to take it so they will use this raw materials which is coming from as i know nutrient pool means what nutrient pool means three things one is what soil next one is water, water and the next one is air so that is why i am taking simply raw materials from the earth that is what we used to call as inorganic substances and under the presence of sun these green plants will produce the carbohydrates by using which process guys by using the photosynthesis reaction and also they will synthesize not only carbohydrates along with the carbohydrates few more products will come what is that guys anybody 
So along with the carbohydrates, so also they will produce us proteins and also they will synthesize us the fat cells. That is you need to remember. So by photosynthesis process, they can produce carbohydrates, they will produce the proteins and as well as fats. So that is why we can say the green plants are called producers in the living world and these producers are the autotropic organisms. So what do you mean by autotropic? Means in the sense of auto, means what? Auto start, means a self, self feeder organisms. So that is why we used to call it as autotropic organisms. So by using photosynthesis process, we can produce what? We can produce photosynthesis can produce as carbohydrates, proteins, and as well as fats. So that is why we can say what guy? The green plants are the, green plants are called as producers in the living world. So please all of you write. Green plants are called producers in the living world. That is. So if we'll take these producers, they are the, what is another name of producers guys? Who is to call as autotropic. Autotropic. So what do you mean by autotropic? Ra? What, what do you mean by autotropic organisms? So autotropic means what? A self-feeder. Please remember. A self-feeder organisms means they will feed by themselves that is only called as self-feeder in this ecosystem and which other organisms depend for food so these organisms on these organisms only every other organisms are depending so that is why we can say the producers like green plants who is to called as producers what is another name of producers kevin so producers who is to call as autotrophs, which they can feed by themselves or self-feeding, who is to call as autotrophs. So please all of you note it down till here. Any doubt, anybody you can ask. Understand, guys? Everybody. So that is only who is to call as producers. Are we clear? So producers are the organisms which can prepare their own food from a simple inorganic substances like carbon dioxide and water by using sunlight in the presence of chlorophyll. That is only called as producers. So we can write the photosynthesis reaction also. So this is not a new thing. Already you are studying in biology. So anybody can say photosynthesis reaction. So if we'll take the photosynthesis, which will produce us. What is that raw? So inorganic substances like carbon dioxide plus water. This both we used to call it as inorganic substances. Please remember. So inorganic substances. So under the presence of sunlight, uh, with the help of whom raw, who will observe that? Chlorophyll. You understand? Chlorophyll. It is used to produce. C6H12O6, that is what glucose plus 6O2 is to call. So this is only the well-known photosynthesis reaction by us. So this is what we used to call as producers. Understand everyone? So now, if you'll understand the producers, then the second type of who will depends, depend on these producers for food, that is what we used to call as. What we used to call, guys? Who will depend? Consumer. Yes, consumers. So that is the second one. So everything you have to remember, the definitions you have to write because in exam they will ask you that is only. So this is all the not new things for you. You all people knows, but you need to remember a little bit more the surnames, the like second names and all we have to remember it. That is what. So now those organisms who will depend on the producers for getting food or seeking food, they are called as consumers. So these, these organisms, they will consume the food or they will eat the food prepared by whom, guys? Prepared by whom, Ra? Prepared by producers. They are only called as consumers. So please, all of you, read the definition first. 
So those organisms, those organisms which consume, which consume food or eat food, eat food prepared by producers, prepared by producers. Producers, what is another name, anybody? Producers, another name, autotrophs. Autotrophs. Yes, are called consumers. So please make it. So that is what we have to remember. Is it okay, everyone? So there, for now, so now make it fast, everyone. So this is what you need to remember. So those, whatever the organisms which will consume the food prepared by producers, that is only way to call as consumers. So now if we take here, so these consumers, they will depend on, uh, depend on producers for food directly and as well as indirectly. So that is what we'll, based upon that, we'll classify again these consumers into two categories. That is what? Herbivorous and carnivorous. So that is what we'll study now. So now you can see here, the producers, always they are the primary consumers, sorry, the, they are the primary sources of energy or the food which will made by the producers or autotrophs. Now, these consumers, they will depend on these producers either directly or indirectly. So now if we take here, the consumers get their food by eating other organisms or their products so, in most of the simple words you can take here, the consumers are the organisms that eat other organisms. So, it may be a producer or maybe it is the, it is eating the organisms which is depends on producers. That is why we can say all the animals which will depend other organisms to get the food. That is what we used to call as consumers. So, who is the examples of consumers? Who is the examples of consumers? So consumers means simple definition, what we can say guys, which depends on other organisms. Understand? That's all. Which eat other organisms. That's all we can wish to say. Other organisms we used to call as consumers. So you are also consumer, me also consumer, and whatever the organisms is directly depend on producers or indirectly depend on producers, everything we used to call as Consumers. So that is why. Who is the example of consumers, guys? Who is the example of consumers? All the animals. Understand? So animals are the come including every animal, everyone is an example of consumers. So even the microscopic animals, uh, like life of water, like protozoa, understanding, they are also called as consumer organisms. So, like uh, you can take amoeba. Paramecium, these all are ways to call it as consumers. Is it yes or no, guys? Please respond. Very small, single cell organisms. They are also ways to call it as, uh, ways to say, they are also consumers only because they also cannot synthesize their own food. So, if you take the examples of common consumer organisms, who is the best example of common consumer, guys? Anybody? Try to speak. What is the examples you know? Try to say. Who is the examples we used to say, the examples of uh, consumers? First of all, hurrah. Respond here, yeah. we are. We are means what? A man. Understand? So a man is the primary consumer which can depends on the plants directly or indirectly. So what is a known example of consumers? Please respond. Everybody tell me. A man, goat, deer, you can take fish, you can take lion, and you can take cow and you can take buffalo understanding so etc etc these all the things you can take the understanding so they all will be depends on or uh, uh, depends on depends on producers or other organisms directly or indirectly they are getting the food from the plants only so if we'll take here for example we all know that for example if we'll take cow and buffalo so cow and buffalo they are directly dependent on something whom guys anybody 
So if we'll take this cow and buffalo, so they are they will eat green grass and other green fodder because green grass and green fodder is what guys? They are the what it is? They are the food for the organisms like goat, cow, deer, and etc. etc. Correct, guys? Please respond. So we can say that. A cow and buffalo eat green grass and are a green fodder because green grass and other green plants, they are the producers of food. So that is why, so directly the cow and buffalo, they will be eat whom guys? They will eat the producers. Why? So the producers are the green plants are the main sources of food. That is why so this cow and buffalo, they will eat the producers. So now if you we'll take here, then what is happening? These consumer organisms, animals, they cannot prepare their own food from the simple inorganic substances. So even though, even though the sunlight is present, they does not have a pigment called as, what is the pigment draw? Why the animals cannot produce the food? Because they don't have a, a color, a green color pigment called as, what is that? Chlorophyll, so that they cannot synthesize or they cannot produce the food. So, but if you'll see this cow and buffalo, they are depending the depending on producers directly to seek the food. Now, if you will take the remaining organisms, for example, cow, uh, sorry, a lion, tiger, man, everything, we people are even, uh, yes, we can eat beef also people are consuming. So we people are depending on either directly on producers or we can eat the animals also, which are depending only on the producers. That is why it may be, well, that is why a common definition we can make for consumers. That is what guys, everything which will eat other organisms, everything we used to call as consumers only. So it may be directly or indirectly they will depend on the uh, green plants or uh, producers. So that is what we used to call it as consumers. So every animal, every animal, if it is only eating the producers, we can say they are directly depending on, understanding, directly depending on the producers and they are getting food from the producers only. And those who are eating the animals, those organisms eating the animals, they are, say, we can say them, they are indirectly depend on the producers. That is what you need to remember. So that is why based upon directly depending or indirectly depending on the producers, we are classifying the consumer organisms. So consumer organisms also we can call it as what, guys? Consumers also we can call it as what, Arvind? So consumers also we can call it as what? The another name heterotrophs understand so who is depends on depends on producers directly or indirectly so that is what so if directly depend on directly eaten eating the producers then what we used to call ra they are called as herbivores understanding everybody and indirectly depend on what we used to call we used to call it as carnivores understand everybody so carnivores and some animals like a mixed animals which will eat both plants producers and as well as uh, this carnivores. So that is what we used to say. It will be directly depend and indirectly depend both ways. So that is what we used to say third category. That is what either directly or indirectly understanding. So that is only what we used to call raw. Sometimes directly, sometimes indirectly. That is only we used to call it as omnivores. Understand? So means which will eat the plants directly and which will eat the animals, which is depending on only on green plants. So based upon this, we can make the, all the organisms into three categories. That is what? One is herbivorous. Next one is carnivorous. This is the second one. And this is the first one. And the last one is called as omnivores okay so this all about this carnivores uh, uh sorry herbivores carnivores and omnivores we'll discuss in the tomorrow's class and as well as 
Next, we will go the third type of organisms. Who is the third type of organisms? You people know already. What is that? What is the third type of organisms, Ra? Who will eat the dead bodies of both plants and animals? That is only we used to call as decomposers, or we can say sapro saprotrophs. So saprotrophs is the most important one because about the saprotrophs, a lot of things will come. That is what the, some important discussions will be there regarding saprotrophs. So that is only maybe having a chances in asking in the exam. So after that, we will go with the food chains and as well as food web. This is all you are studying from the lower classes. Now only the thing is, once again, we need to brush up very clearly line to line. That's all. So with this, I will leave you. Then we will meet in the next class. So with this, I am going to stop. Thank you, everybody. We'll meet in the next class.